Okay, it looks like we're gonna be uploading two videos today, y'all, because guess what? So we're uploading, I got a mess in this kitchen. My mama's collard greens that I made, but we're also going to upload a video with our vegan cabbage that I'm making. And it's real cabbage, but I say vegan because no meat or anything is included in it. I don't even like the color of this cabbage. Look at this cabbage, it's just so light, but okay, whatever. And I don't know if you guys seen the video. Welcome to Kale's Navy Sauce, anyway, because this is gonna be a totally separate one. I have already cored the cabbage, or at least I thought, because I still got some cabbage on here. And you guys, I, the reason I, I decided to go ahead and do this video is because I don't throw away food. I don't believe in throwaway food. There are too many starving children. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, this is just gonna be enough cabbage for me, myself and I. And cabbage is unlike greens in the sense of rolling. You don't have to roll. So let me push this under here. Get your head of cabbage. And what you're gonna do, this is leftover. But like I said, I don't throw anything away. I will get a head of cabbage and show you guys how you You don't need a whole bunch of water. However, you don't need to add any water to cabbage. You can, you can add water, I'm a liar. You can add water, but you don't have to add a whole bunch. You don't have to add a whole bunch at all. So what I'm gonna do really, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut this. So this is gonna be for me, just some cabbage. And I cut my cabbage very thin. Y'all will see in a minute. Not like coleslaw thin, but I cut it pretty thin. I used to love, when I was eating meat, I used to love, if you're from Georgia, if you're from Alabama, the southern states, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Kaneka, I hope I'm saying it right. I used to love Kaneka sausage. And one of my favorite recipes with cabbage is to make my cabbage and put bell pepper and onions in it. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you, but not not with Kaneka. But you put bell pepper and onions and good spices. And I'm gonna just show you really quick because I don't want, I don't like to throw away stuff. There's too many people. And I mean, in this economy, we can't be throwing away stuff. We can't be throwing away stuff. So I'm gonna just cut this up. And like I said, this is only for me to eat. You know, I try to I try to do a lot of meal prep. I'm gonna show you the part I don't like. I don't like that. Just like I don't like it on collard greens, I don't like it on cabbage. I throw that right away. This is a light skin cabbage, ain't it y'all? This thing light. And I already washed this cabbage off, but as I told you guys before, I am pretty, pretty clean when it comes to washing stuff. So I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can see how I wash this again. Cabbage, I don't wash like I do greens, but I do wash it. And I always take my vegetables and wash them before I, 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 I cut them before I cut them out. Actually, I could have washed the cabbage first, but the problem with washing the cabbage first is you may have some slime problems. It, it, you know, leafy green vegetables tend to get a little bit, they lose their, their, their strength. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here because we got a lot going on. So, I'm trying not to show myself because this is not an in-person video. Let me turn this this way so y'all can see. The cabbage, all you do is basically drain it and this it here. And it depends on how dirty. This cabbage was fairly clean, so I'm gonna do it about three times just to wash off any wax, any dirt, any type of stuff and turning stuff off. I need to turn this down from four. Let's see if I can get this on like a three. That's on a three. And you guys see it starting to sizzle, okay? Now First thing I'm gonna do is put my bell peppers. We always wanna go with our harder veggies first. Bell, bell, bell peppers. 
bell peppers, both bell peppers. And I bet you all are saying, why is the kind of vegetables up so big? Because I have been doing that for years because my children, some like bell peppers, some like onions, some didn't like none of it. If, you, if they're big like that, you can pick it out. Let me get my garlic. My mixed garlic. Put that in there. That's about half a teaspoon. I'm a garlic person, y'all. And what we're going to do is we are going to saute this. Not saute this to where it's good. Okay, that's good. I was going to say that. You need to chop some more. Not saute it to a, and I know they're big. I know these onions are big, but they will separate, they will cook. We're gonna do it like that. And then we're going to add um, our seasonings. So I did this one a little bit different than I do the, oh, this camera. I do this a little bit different. This right here is garlic onion powder. And you can put whatever seasonings in you want. That's why I'm not real big on, on what, that's Cajun powder. I'm not real big on what I tell you guys I put in because I mean, unless it's something that I feel like you need. I mean, I don't know what you guys like. This is crushed red pepper. I'm not really hot, a hot girl like that. So, but when you are cooking vegan cooking, you have got to have flavor or everything is gonna just taste the same. Onion powder. And um, don't nobody want food tasting the same. I've got one bay leaf right here, guys. Now, the one thing about bay leaves, you guys, is this. If you leave the bay leaf in there cooking a long time, the bay leaf is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger as you cook it in there. We're always count your bay leaves. Remember how many bay leaves you actually put in with your cooking. So we're gonna let that right there cook. The only other thing we're gonna do, I, do, I am going to use my stock, my vegetable stock, but I'm gonna show you how much I'm gonna use. That's just to give it some more additional flavor. This is liquid smoke. Li li liquid smoke has a wonderful way of making you think that you got some meat when you really don't. So, we're just sauteing these until they get somewhat uh, Softened. I like to have some vegetables that have a crunch and some that don't. So when I make this, my cabbage right here, I like to have my cabbage to have a little crunch. One of the reasons we do not yet have our mushrooms is because mushrooms are so watery. These mushrooms, so this is a fried cabbage uh, recipe, y'all. I don't cook my veggies long, okay? Cabbage, put our cabbage in there. Cabbage has a tendency of making, I'm just dropping stuff, tendency of making its own water. Y'all, I'm gonna go and come back. I gotta clean up. I've dropped some food on the floor and that ain't cool. Hold on. So what we're doing is we're mixing the cabbage up with all of those other vegetables. We're gonna dig, I'm gonna dig in here and put this baby leaf right here. I like to see my baby. And we're just cooking this on a, in a saute pan. Now, remember I told you I was gonna add some of my broth, just to give it a little more flavor. And when I say I'm adding broth, I ain't adding a whole bunch. This is my broth I, I made two days ago. I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it, because I don't wanna put too much. We're going to just put a couple of tablespoons in here. So, teaspoon, I apologize. Teaspoon, we're going to put a couple of teaspoons. So, one, two, and three, because we don't want to put too much. You put too much water on the cabbage, baby, you're going to have a soggy mess. A whole soggy mess. And I like to make this fried.
Uh, you guys know what? It looks like I should have used a bigger skillet. I got stuff just popping. I'm going to adjust again. There we go. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm hungry right now. You know, it's so crazy. I woke up this morning, had a half a cup of coffee, had my smoothie, and here it is. So I'm going to let this just cook and cook. You can stand here and stir it or you can walk away because I'm doing the video for the sake of the video because this video is not going to be long at all. I'm going to stand here and do it. Now, what I want you all to know is as this cabbage is frying, so to speak, you want to make sure that you get it to the crunch or consistency that you want. Like I said, I like it. But I don't like none of my food soggy. Unless, no, nah, I don't like soggy nothing, y'all. I just don't. Y'all see all them flavors in there? One thing I do, if I'm going to eat vegan, baby, I'm going to have to have some flavors. Give me some dried oregano or some spicy something. Give me something. I got to have flavor. My mama from Alabama, boo, okay? I was raised up on good food. I ain't thick for nothing. Honey, I like good, flavorful, flavorful, flavorful. <laughs> I like good, flavorful food. I just do. And y'all see this little well I'm making right here? Now, I put broth in there, but as you can see, it's not that much broth. We don't need that much because, as I said, cabbage does have a tendency to make its own juice because it's water. It's a water veggie. So I'm trying to really speed it up. I really don't want to speed it up because I don't want y'all to burn it. But just take your time in getting it to the consistency. Wait a minute. I'm turning up the wrong eye. Y'all, this is my sister's house. So, okay. So you want to get it to the consistency or the the crunchiness that you want or the less crunchy crunchiness that you don't want. It sounds like it's up a little higher because it is. And now you see how the, the onions are getting a little transparent on me. Let me show y'all. See how the onions are getting a little transparent. So I like the crunchiness of the bell peppers. I like the crunchiness of the onions, but I don't like my onions. Onions can't bite me back y'all. Bell peppers can bite me back, but onions cannot. But this is a this is good. It's starting to get the way I want it to get. So what I'm gonna do, I'm a banger too. This is what I call a banger. Um, I'm gonna put the rest the rest of the mushrooms in here. And just cook this to the consistency in which you like it as far as cr crisp and crunch. I'm gonna go and come back and I'll show you the finished product. So I looked in one other part, one other section of the pantry, and I thought that we were going to be able to do a cornbread, a vegan cornbread, but unfortunately we don't have any cornmeal. So I'm gonna see if I can find something like a muffin or something that I might be able to make because I'm kind of like filling the cooking uh, spree that I'm on. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful and blessed day. And go ahead and put in the comments if you tried it, if you like it, let me know. Suggestions are always, always welcome, but please be kind. Last but definitely not least, if you know of a good recipe, share it. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.